Hello. M my name is Mitch. I'm here to tell you guys about... an experience I had. I don't know if it was paranormal or whatever stupid words people use to describe supernatural phenomena, but after that... that... thing visited me. I believe in that paranormal trash now. A week after I moved in with my brother, Edwin, right after my house was foreclosed, I finished unpacking. Edwin liked the idea of me moving in, since we hadn't seen each other for about ten years. So I was excited too. I soon fell asleep after I moved in. It was... After that first week, that I heard rustling noises coming from outside at about one in the morning. At first, I thought it was a raccoon, so I ignored it and tried to fall back asleep. The next morning, I told Edwin about it, and... and... he agreed. The next night, however, I thought I heard my window opening, along with a loud thump, as if something had entered my room. I darted up and looked around my room, but I saw nothing. The next morning, when I walked into the kitchen to greet my brother, Edwin dropped his coffee cup the second he saw me. He held up a nearby mirror, and I freaked out the second I saw myself. I had a large gash in my left cheek. Afterwards, I was rushed to the hospital. My doctor told me that I must have been sleepwalking, but later on he showed me something that made my blood turn cold. He lifted up my shirt to reveal a sewn-up incision where my kidneys were. I stared right into his eyes, mine widening. We aren't sure how this happened, but somehow you lost your left kidney last night, my doctor told me. I'm so sorry, Mitch. The next night was my breaking point. Around midnight, I woke up to the same strange noises again. I opened my eyes and... What I saw was a truly horrifying sight. I was staring face to face with a creature, shrouded in black and what looked to be a dark blue mask on its face, with no nose or mouth staring down at me. The thing about the creature that scared me the most was... It appeared to have no eyes. Just... Pure black, empty sockets. The creature also had some... Strange black substance dripping from its sockets. I don't think the creature noticed me, even though it was leaning right over my bed. Just to make sure I wasn't dreaming or going crazy, I grabbed a camera from the nearby mantle and took a picture of it. The second I took the shot, the creature seemed to snap out of whatever trance it was in and lunged at me. It tried to claw open my chest as if trying to get to my lungs. I managed to stop it by kicking it in the face. As I ran out of my room, I quickly grabbed my wallet and my keys. I would need them. I ran out of my brother's house and into the night. 
I sprinted until I ended up in the woods near Edwin's house. I fell unconscious and woke up in the hospital. My doctor, who was the same one who treated me before, entered the room. So you're finally awake. Well, I have good news and bad news, Mitch. My doctor started. The good news is, you have minor injuries, so we can immediately discharge you, and your parents are going to come pick you up. I sighed with relief. The bad news is... Last night after we recovered you, it would appear that someone or something killed your brother. We can only assume that he left the house to follow you after you left your house and was attacked. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mitch. That evening, my parents took me back to Edwin's house to collect my remaining belongings. Upon entering my room, while well, I was scared, I remained calm, as being scared wouldn't do me any good. I grabbed my camera and left my room. As I was walking down the hallway, I passed my brother Edwin's room and stopped dead in my tracks. Something caught my eye. I turned around and went into his room and tried to suppress the urge to vomit. I saw Edwin's body and something small lying next to it. I approached the corpse of my brother to retrieve the item, and what I saw made me immediately turn around and run the other way, leaving my brother's house and rushing back to my parents' car. What I had found was... What I had found was my stolen kidney which appeared to be half-eaten, having a huge bite mark in it. And that same strange black substance that I saw in the creature's mask, still lingering on the teeth marks on my half-devoured kidney.